Bedside Pews grew out of my recognition in 2002 that it was possible to identify children well before the immediate call for help was made. It seemed odd that children in a hospital setting should need to have healthcare professionals run to uh, the bedside of a child when that child had been in their care all along. Sometimes it may be inevitable, but at that time I realized on many occasions it was potentially preventable. The purpose of the bedside pews is to identify children at risk for near and actual cardiopulmonary arrest to enable the prevention and thus to improve the outcome for children and for their families. The Bedside Pews program is a very dynamic program because it was developed um, by patients that actually had experienced events and then it was designed by frontline care providers who care for these patients. So it, they were involved through every stage of the development of our program so we like to call it a program developed by the people who actually use it. The science of Bedside Pews is its core strength and differentiates it from many other well-intentioned severity of illness scores and systems. I'm grateful for the collaborations with many healthcare professionals, over 300 during the course of development, and also for the 5,000 patients that contributed data to the validation of the score. The Bedside Pews has four components to it. It has a documentation record that was designed and developed by frontline healthcare providers and user tested. The second component is the Bedside Pew Score, which is seven critical indicators summarized down into the Bedside Pew Score, which is one variable. The third component is the score match care recommendations, which help facilitate the care provided to the child and will increase with frequency as the child is getting sicker. And the fourth component is the communication component, which is vital to the success of the implementation of Bedside Pews. It's a system designed for healthcare professionals by healthcare professionals. And it has a number of parts, each of which have been carefully developed and validated over the years between 2002 and 2007. Bedside Pews capitalizes on the strengths that are inherent in a collaborative team-based process. From the very beginning in customizing the Bedside Pews tools to implementing the system within each individual hospital, the partnerships that are formed between providers, leadership and the interdisciplinary team are the cornerstone of Bedside Pews success. Using Bedside Pews as a system of care has helped to elevate nurses' critical thinking. And as an example, um, nurses have started to recognize the score trends that are normal for a specific patient population. And when their patient's score falls out of that predictable trend, they know that they need to think differently or do something else. Bedside Pews has been really helpful in assigning a numeric value to the objective findings that nurses are assessing in their patients. And they then feel a lot more confident in communicating that concern that they might have with the rest of the healthcare team as a result. So previously they would just talk about a gut feeling they had that a patient was at risk for deterioration, but now this has given them the tools that they need to really objectify that assessment finding and talk about it um, with the rest of the team. As an intern, one of the lessons that I learned from uh, one of my ICU attendings was about vital signs. We would do rounds and someone would forget to tell them what the vital signs were for the patients and he'd stop rounds and say, you remember, vital signs are vital. We wouldn't call them vital if we didn't need them in order to take care of the patient. I think the bedside pews embodies that and brings all the vital signs, the bedside assessments into a single score where now the nurses, the physicians, we can talk the same language and make our care recommendations and our plans and determine what patient is deteriorating, which one's not, and how do we make our resources for the day. Nurses using bedside pews on a daily basis really like it. They find it easy to use and it's so visual that they now have a system that can finally help them to communicate their concerns about a patient much more effectively. Bedside Pews has also been really useful in helping us to improve continuity of care, with the documentation being sent down to theatre recovery from inpatient ward areas. And with recovery staff who are not often specifically paediatric trained, they find the age-specific Bedside Pews charts invaluable. The scientific developments of the Bedside Paediatric Early Warning System continue for me, this is an exciting and ongoing process, uh, be that interfacility transport, education, 
in the NICU uh, or special care unit and also in the emergency department. What I've learned is the importance of having the right system to enable practitioners to practice better, to identify effectively, and this is the rationale for us spending five years developing the bedside paediatric early warning system, validating the score, and engaging the frontline clinicians. Frontline staff and patients deserve tools that work.